Okay, so when you go to crazy.com, you're going to see that I have linked each of you into the, um, the slideshow that we're going to be working on today as a class. And so when you click on it, what I want you to do first is to save a copy. So you could just click here, save a copy, and that means that this is entirely yours. It doesn't belong to both me and you. It belongs to just you to edit. And so once you've done that, you can go back here and open up the one that you want to be working on. So you will have two copies of it. And so I've got one open here, and it's going to open up looking at the timeline. And then when you zoom out, you'll see that there are four circles of images, each with notations for those images, captions for those images and inside. And so this one circle of images relates to the words inside it. So the words aren't coming from any of the others. That circle has its own caption. And so when you see one, you might decide, oh yeah, that belongs to that. So maybe I see, I'll start here with this image of cave paintings. And I can see up here that I have something that says Chauvin Cave, 30,000 BC, and I know that that belongs to that image. So I can just pop that underneath it, and now they belong to each other. So I click on the name, hit shift on the keyboard, click on the image, and then this little box will come up and you just say group. And so then I have this group here that I can do anything that I want with. And so you do that for all four of these circles. And then once you've matched all of the images with the captions, the next thing that you're going to do is make it smaller by using the drag across like that and bring it down towards the timeline. Make it smaller again and pop it on the timeline where you think it belongs. And so this belongs 30,000 BC because this is part of the ancient civilizations. And you can make it smaller again. And as you can see, because the image and the caption are grouped, they're getting smaller at different different times. If you wanted your caption to be larger, you can just click ungroup, click off it, click on just the caption, and you can make that caption larger or smaller, and then hit shift, the image, regroup, and there you go. So that's the exercise we'll be working on today. If you have any questions, let me know.